Aggies, what's up? My name's Olivia and I am starting my senior year slash senior quarter at UC Davis. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you some tips that are not academic related and they're not biking related. Though I do have videos on that if you're interested, but just other tips for being an Aggie. I'm also doing an Aggie swag giveaway. So I will show you all those products at the end and tell you how you can enter. A lot of these tips have to do with timing and food. So to start off, the first tip is the arc is the busiest between 4.45 and around 8.30 p.m. The arc is our gym. It's right across the street from Segundo. It's connected to the pavilion, uh, which is where the basketball team plays. And first of all, know that the first two, two and a half weeks of every quarter, it is going to be so incredibly busy. And after that, gym is clear as can be. But in general, avoid going to the arc between 4.45 and 8.30 p.m. Next with timing, it's really important to know the schedule of UC Davis. So in the morning classes, so anything before noon, class starts on the hours, like 8 a.m., then ends on the 50, so 8.50 p.m. So the crazy class change time when everyone's gonna be riding their bikes is between 50 and the hour. So if you have a class that starts at 10 a.m., I advise you to leave your dorm at 9.35 or 9.40 so that you're not riding right when everyone else is riding, but you still get there like just when like 9.50 class change starts. So you can still get your biking spot. Between 11.50 and 12.10 is probably when the most people are on campus because it's morning class people and afternoon class people and the campus is literally crazy. So try to avoid biking at that time. And then again, after noon, um, classes start at 10 after and end on the hour. So next I'm gonna talk to you about food plans. So basically when to use swipes versus when to use Aggie Cash. So if you are a freshman, you probably have a meal plan to use a swipe every time you go into the dining hall. You can also use swipes at other locations. So like in the little stores at each like residence hall, so at Segundo it's called The Junction, I think it's called Trudy's at Tercero. You can pay in either Aggie Cash, which you can use at any location on campus, or certain times you can buy meals with swipes. So they might have like, get a pre-made sandwich, get a bag of chips, and one of these select drinks for a swipe, rather than spending like $10 of Aggie Cash on it. You can also use swipes at the silo. They have the same thing where you can get like a sandwich and I think a chip and a drink for one swipe. And I highly recommend doing this because I started my freshman quarter, I had $200 of Aggie Cash, and we bought the 180 swipe meal plan, which is three meals a day. And for two days a week, one of my meals, um, I would actually just get a sandwich from the silo. And I went through my $200 in Aggie Cash in one quarter, and I still had like 100 swipes left over at the end of the term. And I was so mad when I didn't know, or like when I found out that I could have been using swipes that whole time and saved up my Aggie Cash. Because at places like the Coho, for example, um, you are not allowed to use swipes at all. All of it has to be in an Aggie cash. So when you can use swipes, use them um, so you can save your Aggie cash. On the You Save Us Dining website, it says that food trucks take Aggie cash as well as the concession stands at these sporting events. Um, in the past couple years at Starbucks, if you order something that's less than $5, you can use a swipe on that rather than Aggie cash. And why it's important like using swipe versus Aggie cash is because Aggie Cash rolls over from year to year. So if I have $100 of Aggie Cash left over at the end of my freshman year, then I will start my sophomore year with $100 of Aggie Cash. But if you have swipes left over, you pay like $10 to $12 per swipe at the beginning of each quarter um, for your meal plan. They only give you $4 of Aggie Cash per swipe. So now some money saving food tips. At the Coho, we have like a salad place, I think it's called Croutons actually, and you can do like build a salad. So it's like $6.50 or $7 and you get like whatever lettuce you want and then like 10 toppings of your choice. But these salads are huge. I can never finish one, there's always at least half over and I'm throwing it away. So what you can do instead is just order a topping salad. I will get either two to three toppings of romaine lettuce and then whatever three or four toppings that I want and then that way the salad is much smaller and you're paying like 60 cents per topping. So the salad ends up coming out to be about $3.50 rather than $6.50 or $7. And it's a manageable size. Also, if you're not a pasta eater but you still like the sauces and stuff, um, at Cook's, which has like the homemade stuff, they have like cornbread and like random stuff. What I'll do sometimes is I'll get a small thing of like rice, so like brown rice or white rice. And then I'll ask them to put the pasta sauce on top. 
So I think it costs the same as the pasta, but if for some reason you can't eat pasta, like I'm um, allergic to wheat, um, then you can just have rice and then your pasta sauce on top. Since we're talking about food, I'm going to tell you about the best places to get hot chocolate on campus. So the two lowest ranked hot chocolates are at the Coho. Never buy hot chocolate from the Coho. The cheaper one is just like water and like a Swiss mix, Swiss Miss mix. So something that you can make in your dorm for like 10 cents. Um, definitely not worth buying out. And then their actual hot chocolate, I think they call it like gourmet hot chocolate. Is like $4.50 for a small. And in a moment, I will explain why to not waste your money on that. But, so that's the worst hot chocolate. Those two are the worst. And then the next for me was always the Starbucks hot chocolate. I just thought it was a decent cup of hot chocolate. I don't know if it's different with Pete's Coffee now. That literally just got put in like this summer. So I haven't tried that. I'm sure it's probably the same product as Starbucks. But the best hot chocolate, best bang for your buck, is actually from the Coho South. Because, remember I mentioned that gourmet hot chocolate from the Coho? Well, they sell that same exact hot chocolate with Ghirardelli syrup and um, whipped cream on top, but the price is like cut in half. So it's like $2.25 for a small, maybe $2.50, but it's what one would expect to pay for hot chocolate. The next tip is every first Friday of the month, you get 20, yeah, 20% 20 off um, printed UC Davis items from the bookstore, clothing items. So t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, things for like Mother's Day or Christmas or shirts for yourself, you get 20% off the first Friday of the month. Only a few tips left before the giveaway, but my next tip is to join the UC Davis Facebook groups. Um, <clears throat> on Facebook, you can be added once you're like accepted and a student to the UC Davis social Facebook group. Once you join that, then you have access to UC Davis psychology group and the UC Davis textbook marketplace. Textbook marketplace you definitely want to join. Um, free and for sale is a good group to join. You also want to join the housing and the short term and sublease housing um, Facebook group. Last few things I want to say real quick. One, the library computers do not have PowerPoint. So if you are waiting to print something um, and you don't have time to do it at home or you decide, oh, I'll just print that at school, just know that the computers in the library, at least all the ones that I have used, none of them have PowerPoint. So if you're trying to download slides for a class, you're not gonna be able to do that. The last thing I wanted to mention was the VA Center on campus. So that's like the Veterans Affairs Department. So if you have um, served in the military or if you're a dependent of someone who has served in the military, then you have access to the VA Center. Even if you're not using the GI Bill, um, you still have access to it. So it's on the second floor in the MU and you get like five pages of free printing each day, computer access, and then there's also some study room. When you go in, you do have to like sign in on a computer and um, type in your student ID. Um, but just know that that resource is there for you if, we're, if you're a dependent or have served in the military. Okay, those are all of my tips. So now it's time for the Aggie swag giveaway. So all of this stuff are things that I have accumulated throughout my four years at Davis or three years at Davis. It's all stuff that I've never used before. And I wanna give it to someone who wants it because if not, it's going to the trash, never use, and it's a lot of great products that I've just gained from like Aggie Pack. The first product is this water bottle. It's 1,000 milliliters. You see it's athletics, just a screw top. Like I said, I've never used this before, so it's perfectly good. Um, I just don't drink out of water bottles like this. Next thing is this little beanie. Again, I think it says you see it's athletics. Yep, literally never worn it before says the U on the back. All of, anything you get from like Aggie Pack is gonna have sponsors on the back, um, but that's fine, because it's free. Enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, comment below what you're excited for about starting at UC Davis this year. I do want this stuff to go to a UC Davis student. Um, also in your comments, make sure you leave your Instagram handle so that I can contact you. If you don't put your Instagram handle in, then I'm gonna assume that you don't wanna be added um, to the giveaway. That way, if you want, I can contact you and see how I'm gonna deliver this stuff to you. You can also comment on my latest Instagram post and follow me on Instagram to enter that way. So you can enter twice, once by commenting on this video and subscribing to me, and once by following me on Instagram and by um, commenting on my most recent post. The next two things are snapbacks. I have a gray one and a white one that again, oh, these ones say UC Davis Aggies. Yeah, snapbacks just don't look good on my head. And yeah, I have two of them. So, if y'all are interested in these, enter the giveaway. Next thing is this little bike light with the Juicy Davis logo. I don't know if you can see, I don't know, but it's flashing. 
and then this one is just a little less pulse or it turns into just a flashlight. Next is this scarf that says UC Davis Aggie Pride. Hashtag go Ags. Got this at a soccer game. This is what it looks like. Like I said, other than that moment just now, never worn this before. Oh, and it has the little Gunrock logo on the back. And the last thing is a bunch of little face tattoos that I was a UC Davis cheerleader. And because of that, I have a lot of little face tattoos. Um, here's Gunrock. And yes, I also have some that say, Go Ags. Is that upside down? Yeah, Go Ags. These are really cute for football games or any athletic game, um, homecoming, all of that stuff. So if you're interested in winning all of this stuff, make sure you enter the giveaway by commenting on this video what you're most excited about for school. I hope you guys find these tips useful. Good luck to all the freshmen moving in this weekend. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Welcome to Davis. I hope you have an amazing experience at this school. And yeah, if you want to enter the giveaway, I've told you five billion times how to enter it, so make sure you do that below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember to keep dreaming out loud. Good luck with this school year. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.